Hello brothers and sisters and welcome back to another Reaction Packs episode. I'm still very ginger. I don't mean ginger. I don't. I don't look. I am ginger. I am, yeah, I am ginger. Not in my head. But I'm still very ginger. And here I'm very ginger. But with bits of grey. And I look like Basil Brush. Boom, boom. I meant ginger with me back. He's still sore. Uh, have I done it yet? Episode of Chris the Butcher. Aren't friends. Have you ever been out at a festival or anywhere where they've got the hot dogs, they've got burgers, they've got everything there, and you're like, mmm. I don't know whether it's have a hot dog or a cheeseburger. Well, I am going to incorporate both, so you can have both, a cheeseburger hot dog. I hope it works. If it doesn't, I'll just look a complete utter fool. And do you know what this is going to be? It's really cheap, actually. I'm going to make six because I've got six burger buns that cost me one pound fifty. But we'll start here. Half a kilo of ninety-five percent lean mince. I've got two. They were two quid each, so that's four. I've got six rashers of smoked bacon, which cost me two quid. That's six. I've got six slices of shit plastic cheese. Which cost about 50 pence. Uh, so we're two, four, six. Six fifty. One fifty for the, the bunnies, the white hot dog rolls. So it's cost me eight quid. I already had that. And I'm gonna cook it in the Jeffrey. So it's cost me eight quid, and hopefully I'm gonna get six hot dogs out of this. Cheese burger hot dogs. So uh without further ado, let's crack on. So I've got a mixing bowl there, and we're gonna go in with one, two, if you don't know what that is, that's two half kilo, that's a kilo of mince. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to season this up. I'm not going to put any binder in it, I'm not going to put any egg in it or anything like that. I'm only going to put a little bit of salt in it because we have the smoked bacon in it. will be a little bit salty anyway. And then we've got a bit of grey bottle pepper. Pepper, pepper, pepper. Uh, people are asking me where I got these from. Uh, they were a gift. Uh, but I presume they were on Amazon. And we got our garlic as well. <whistles> We've got a little garlic in this house. Right. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my hands in. Give it a good mix of my toasties. Not too much because you don't want to pound your meat. <laughs> uh, too hard. Otherwise, it ends up really stiff. So I've been told. Uh, I think that'll do it, you know. Whoop! We're having disasters. Come on, come on. I'm going to separate this into six equal portions. And that is going to be the base of our bacon hot dog. So, uh, yeah. I'll see you no more. They're about as equal as you're going to get them without weighing them. So, what I need to do is, I just want to show you one. This is my idea. I don't know if this is going to work or not. I don't really want it sticking to the board either, but I think it is going to do. My idea is to push it out so it's big enough to get my uh, cheese slice in, which is there. Sorry, I'm leaning on the camera. That's very crude. I do apologize. I will start walking round the tripod. It's not like I'm walking round the block. It's only a matter of feet. <laughs> that in the middle. And then we're going to roll it up. Hopefully, mould it into a hot dog shape. I want it sealed. I don't want the cheese to escape. If I can help it. 
There we go. We don't want it too big either. We want it to be able to fit the uh, the, the hot dog roll. There we go. Which is something like that. Looks like it just looks like a big turd right now. And I'm going to get some bacon and wrap it around the middle of it. Which is here. I've got my, my six slices of smart English back bacon, which cost me uh, two quid. I'll just wrap that round the middle like so. Mm, something like that, I suppose. So I suppose like a beef pig in blanket, innit? I'm really close up there, aren't I? And uh, that is ready for the Jeffrey. I will crack on with the other five, and we will be back. So there is my six bacon cheeseburger hot dogs, and the Jeffrey has got up to temperature, and it's down to add. So we're going to get them in now. I've got it on the air fryer setting. I'm going to cook them for 25 minutes. Because some of these, the big, the big slobs, I'll tell you. All of them are big slobs. I'm hoping I can get them all in at once, you know what I mean? They're good, this griddle pan, but then they're in the pissing way. I'll move them over. I shouldn't need to turn these, but you never know. Am I going to have to slide that in there under that? I burp myself. <laughs> I knew I was going to do that. Right, there we are. Our six che bacon cheeseburger hot dogs in there. Lid down. Bang. See if I can show you there. 200 degrees. And I'll see you in 25 minutes. Did you hear that beeping? Hopefully, you are done. Confession I did turn them halfway through as well to make sure they were done. Look at them buggers. 25 minutes, 200 degrees on the air fry setting, isn't it, Jeffrey? Then, my brothers and sisters, are done. So uh, let's get one built, and then we'll go and slide one down the gizzard. My main concern here was, are they going to fit on these tiny hot dog rolls? Uh, I've had to cut them near enough in half to fit them, but you know what? Who cares? Hellman's burger sauce. Come on. Come on. Get plenty of that off. I haven't put onions on because Connor and Keeman don't like onions. So there's no point in me even doing the onions. Anyway, let's get one of them on. Ba -da -da -ba. Bish bash bosh. Doesn't fit whatsoever. But I tell you what, that is going to be absolutely banging. Right, I'm going to crack on, and I'm going to get them all displayed on here. And then we're going to slide one down the gizzard. There they are, brothers and sisters. Yeah, I know I said there were six. There is only four there right now. Because Connor and Kieran have already took theirs. And uh, Connor didn't want any sauce on it. Kieran wanted barbecue sauce on it. So there's mine and Lou's. We've got two each, and we've got the Hellman's uh, burger sauce on it. So, uh yeah, I might cut one of these in half and we'll see uh, what it looks like. There it is, brothers and sisters. The bacon cheeseburger hot dog. Basically, it's just a burger with cheese in the middle. Wrapped with bacon on a hot dog roll. Uh, and I probably won't be get it uh, in my gob. But then again, I've got a big gob, so I probably will. So, uh, bon apple safe. Let's get it in my gizzard. Oh, that's hot. That's got the shape of a hot dog. You got your cheese, you got your bacon, you got your seasoned burger meat, you've got your burger sauce. You got your hot dog bun. What more could you ask for? Well, they were hefty pieces of things to cook. Uh, like I said, I, I had a kilo of mince, I've split it to six. I'm not sure what the weight on that is, but what I'll tell you is that we would take £1.33 each. 
with uh, all the sundries and everything. So it's, you know what? That, for £1.33, this day and age, you can't go wrong, can you? And it took 25 minutes exactly on 200 degrees in the Jeffrey on air fryer mode. So I'm guessing, you know I mean, it'd be exact same in any air fryer to cook. And it was cheap. It was good. I liked it. If you like this, press like, comment, share it on your social media and subscribe. I'll become a family member of the hashtag Team CT. Be careful. B. When I fucking love you.